and welcome to another nice crazy edition of What's yeah. For Dinner! Yeah. I'm Elizabeth Fenter and this is... Easton! Easton what? Easton Wayne Fenter. How old are you? Four. Alright, so tonight we're doing kind of um, what's left over in the refrigerator night. We had pizza. Of course. And Mama gave me this new kid's knife. It's a kid's knife. So Easton is going to um, cut up some bananas and grapes for our fruit salad. I'm gonna heat up some leftover pizza on our bar pan. And then I'm gonna cut up some mango. Don't put that in your mouth. Hey, we're about to eat. I know it's just our close family. Hey, can but I still, eat one more? Yeah, I know yeah. it's just our close family, but let's practice having good hygiene and not spittling all over the food. The first time Daddy eat the knife. Okay. All right, so Easton has the kid cutter. It is safe. Show them how it's not sharp, but can you show them how to um, cut uh, your banana okay. or grapes or something? Okay. First, I will show them how to cut grapes. So, you just. I, I just, while he's doing that, I just put some leftover pizza on my bar pan. If you have the pizza stone, that's great too. Uh, whatever stone you have, just throw it on there. Heats it right up, makes the crust. Crust crispy. Like this in two sides. Alright, use your cutting board, Easton. Alright, I'm now going to... I can show you how to cut banana. Yeah, do it on the cutting board though, please. Ha please. Alright. I'm going to put the bowl right here in between oh. us. It's okay, you can keep eating it. Alright, Easton is using a flexible cutting mat. I am using a flexible cutting mat on top of ooh, Cut away the ooey on top of a regular cutting board so I don't mess up my cutting board. Ah. And so I'm going to see if there's anything, if this is just one bad mango or if it just has a bad spot. Yeah, I'm going to toss this all the way. I want that one right there. Oh, I'm going to do it right here because I need it. Okay. We can share. That's a great idea. All right, I'm going to peel this mango. Actually, I'm going to bring the trash can right over. So this is a great way to use Pampered Chef even if you're not cooking a full meal. And so we're just going to cut up some stuff. Oh, by the way, we had our um, the cake that I made last night. We ate it at my meeting. And it was delicious. The s'mores. I hadn't been yet. I remember. No, you didn't, but you get the rest of the s'mores cake tonight. Thank you. Yeah, are you excited? I'm excited. Because I love s'mores. And you love chocolate. And you love sugar. Mm -hmm. Anything sugar. Right? Yeah. Alright. We do have a mango slicer. But I'm just going to cut it up with my knife. Good job, Easton. Hey, when you cut, why don't you cut on, no, cut on the cutting board. Wait, I'm cutting it in the bowl you told me. I know, but see how I'm, you, don't put that in your mouth, it's gross. Daddy did it in the first time. I know Daddy does it, but it's when he's eating his own dinner. He doesn't do it when he's cooking dinner for everyone. And Mommy. So, just a note, um, eat, if you're coming over for dinner, Easton does not prepare the food. He only does it when it's family only. Mm -hmm. So have no fear. No Easton cuties are here. Ready, bro? Yeah, right. Alright. This mango all cut up. We get lots of mango in our um, produce box. And so um, one of the things that I like to share are... Sorry. Uh, you're fine. Our money-saving tips on food. Um, we get a, every two weeks we get a uh, box of organic produce and it's about 30 pounds of fruits and veggies and it makes us eat our fruits and veggies because we don't want to waste it. But I don't have to go to the store and look at what's on sale or anything like that. I just pick up my box. Uh, it's all stuff that I eat. Every once in a while there's something uh, weird or different, but it gives me a, an excuse to try it. The kids are always excited to see what's in the box. What's your favorite fruit or veggie, Easton? Uh, grapes and grapes. Grapes? Yeah. You love them? What else do you love? Uh, hey, let me 
get the apple wedger out real quick. Mama time. You love mama time. Aw, I love the mama time. I wish you could see this drawer. I got the new bamboo uh, drawer. Wait, is this the apple wedger too? Yeah, this is. Okay, no. Uh, this one's really sharp, and I don't want you to accidentally oh. get your finger. So I will. I can't. I know. That's because I'm going to do it because it's hard to push down. But it's hard to push down? Yeah. Dishwasher safe. Good for pears, good for apples. And then, hey, Peter. I want to cut it for you. Okay. Do you want to cut the apples in half? Yeah. Of course I do want to. All right. Well, you cut the apples in half, and that will be perfect for our salad. Fruit salad. Fruit, fruit salad. Nom, nom, Can I take this apple? Uh, yeah, I don't want that in the fruit salad. It would be weird. And this is what the flexible cutting mats are good for. Love them. All right, a little bit more mango. And our uh, pizza should be almost heated all the way through. Thank you for joining us. Um, oh, 7 inch Santuco knife. This is the color-coded version. It is full tank, um, so you only have the plastic handle, but the metal goes from tip to, to end, um, so it's not going to fall apart on you. Um, Three-year warranty. It's lightweight. Uh, the little, careful, the little grooves help it go completely through uh, whatever you're cutting so it doesn't get stuck halfway through. This is one of my favorite knives. We also have the Forge Cutlery, which is, um, according to Consumer Reports, as good as Warsaw or um, Chicago cutlery. So that's pretty amazing. You want to hone your knives regularly. That means use that little sharpening tool that comes with um, your knives or that you can buy to go with your knives. Um, and that helps keep them in balance and um, their best shape. Now, you don't want to actually have them professionally sharpened more than once uh, every year, mommy, or once every two years. Can you help me with that apple? Um, it looks like you've bitten it, so why don't you eat it? Okay. Um, if you sharpen more than once every year or once every two years, then um, you're going to wear it down. The forged cutlery has a lifetime warranty, and it's amazing. It has a weighted handle, so you feel like a top chef when you're when you're cooking with it. I love it. I love cool. It. You do? Do you feel like a top chef? Mm-hmm. Yeah, like Iron Chef Ebro? Mm-hmm. Hey, you peel it off! It's still recording, it's just that the uh, let the monitor's off. Here, do you want to see yourself? Yeah. There you are. Thank you. Do you like seeing yourself on TV? Mm-hmm. All right. What is your favorite food that we've made so far? I didn't told you. No, 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 not great. The favorite meal that we've made lately? What? Chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets. Awesome. Because how often do I make chicken nuggets? I think you made some once. No, you didn't. No, she didn't. She made just chicken nuggets. <laughs> I love the brother-sister robbery. All right, so speaking of Santuco knife, if you book a show with me and I can get four hosts uh, from this link, then I will draw one in four chance. We get eight hosts, I'll draw a second time. And I'll draw for the uh, this knife here. Um, this is my favorite knife, if I can not get to see. There we go. This is my favorite knife. Um, it's very affordable. My, this, is, this one is my favorite knife. Yeah, your kid's cutter. That is also a camper chef. And, uh, great for when uh, we have steak or something or chicken, something that the kids need to cut. And it's also good for when we're having um, uh, cooking time together. This is a slippery guy. Of course he is. Of course he is. Hey, can you not smack, especially when we're on TV? I'm not. You're not smacking or you're not on TV? I'm cutting the blades, you told me. Yes, you are, and you're doing a great job. Alright, can you show everyone how you cut your knife? It's okay. Can you cut your bananas real quick? Hmm, but you said I can't. No, I want you to cut your bananas now. You're on camera. Okay. Cut them in nice little bite-sized pieces. Let me show you. This is what I want you to do with yours. Bam, 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 bam. Can you do that with yours? Okay, then.
Bam. All the way through. Bam. All the way through. Good job. Bam. Can you tell the camera what you're doing at the same time? Oh. Is it a little slimy? All right. Well, let me show you our pizza really quickly. It's okay, buddy. You thought the banana was a monster. Do, 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 do. Alright. Turn the computer back on real quick. Sorry, I can't see, so I don't know what I'm doing. Alright, so nice and cheesy and melty. It was in there for about 10 minutes or so. And bam, bam. Always will. I'm gonna put this down on my stove top. I've got the microwave grips. Bam. Always what do you will. call these, Easton? Chompers. Chompers, and they're good for shopping. And shopping. <laughs> chomp, chomp, chomp. So they're great for chomping. They're great for teething, and they're really good for pulling hot stuff out of the microwave, or in my case, the oven. So I love them. They're a great little stocking stuffer, a little teacher's gift. A I love them too. Housewarming. So it's a great little uh, Bam, duo. All right. Tell your audience bye bye. Can you bye say bye. It? So, what happens if you book a show? What are we drawing for? Camperchef.com. Oh, yeah. You can go to www.camperchef.biz forward slash eventer. Visit us online at facebook.com. We have the new kids now. Your kids can help you too. Forward slash the pamper actors with an S because there's more than one of us. Um, Elizabeth.venter at gmail.com or give me a call. Text me. What's for dinner? I will let you know what I'm cooking for dinner. Um, and I can give you ideas and show you what I'm doing. So then to 817-917-1889. Uh, eat, uh, text me your name and ask me what's for dinner, and I'll send you a recipe and a picture. And Thanks for joining a us. New kids knife. Bye bye. I'm not sending you a kids knife. Bye. Why? Well, it's hard to text message a knife over. Why? Your kids can help you. Yeah. If you buy the kids knife, I'll throw in something cool for the kids. Besides the knife. Bye. Thank you. Bye.